If you were thinking about moving to Toms River, New Jersey, these are three of the top neighborhoods that you should check out. Hi, I'm Jim Flanagan, broker of record with Cobalt Banker Flanagan Realty right here in Toms River, New Jersey. And in this video, I'm going to walk you through three of what I consider the best neighborhoods in Toms River. The first neighborhood that you need to check out is actually downtown Toms River or the village of Toms River. This area is located on our namesake, the Toms River. And it's basically stretching from downtown Toms River right up Washington Street toward Route 37 with some offshoots into Cranmore and Hickory Manor. One of the reasons people like living in this location is because of its proximity to downtown as well as its easy access to the river itself and all the recreational amenities that go with it. Now prices vary in downtown based on the style of the house but the average four bedroom two and a half bath colonial in downtown Toms River can run from about $500,000 all the way up to about $850,000. And on the other hand, a three bedroom ranch in the Hickory Manor, they're starting to come up too. So we're seeing them from between $300,000 and $400,000. And the second neighborhood you need to check out is Twin Oaks. Twin Oaks is, is located on the east end of Toms River. It's a non-waterfront community and is known for its four bedroom, two and a half bath colonials, as well as being located in the Cedar Grove School District. And people love living in Twin Oaks because it's kind of like Mr. Rogers' neighborhood, if I can say that. So it's got that very friendly atmosphere to it. In Twin Oaks, the average four bedroom, two and a half bath colonial is currently selling between $550,000 and $750,000, depending on recent updates and amenities. Three bedrooms are hard to find in Twin Oaks, but if you do find one, expect to pay somewhere between $450,000 and $550,000 for one. The last neighborhood that you need to check out in Tom's River is actually a tie. There are three of them because they're waterfront communities and that's Shelter Cove, Snug Harbor, and Green Island where you'll find a huge variety of lagoon front homes. And the reasons people love living in these areas is obvious. You have access to the Barnegat Bay. So if you're a boater, a jet skier, a water skier, a wave runner kind of person, these are the homes that absolutely love waterfront living. Obviously, living on the water comes with a higher price tag. So the average home in these waterfront communities right now is averaging between $750,000 all the way up to a million. And if you're on the bay, expect to pay over a million. I do have to mention that rentals are extremely hard to find in Tom's River, but if you do find one in these three communities, you can expect to pay over $3,000 a month. And in the waterfront communities, it may be as high as $5,000 a month. Well, I hope this video gave you some insight into the neighborhoods in Tom's River, New Jersey. And if you should have any questions about selling or buying a house in Tom's River, New Jersey, please feel to reach out. I'd be happy to answer any question. And don't forget to subscribe above and check out some of my other videos or check out my website at flanaganfirst.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Jim Flanagan, broker of record, Cobalt Banker Flanagan Realty, and the rest of the day to yourselves.